Hello, friends, and welcome back to A Christian Woman's Journey. Today, we are continuing with homeschool, and I wanted to start talking about something that your kids will not learn in regular school. It's something that in homeschool, we called life skills. We did life skills every week, and we tried to cover as many areas as we could. One of the areas that we covered that I want to talk about today is the family budget. Now, I know people have different opinions on this, whether or not that should be shared with children at all. My opinion is that it is important. Reason being that God wants us to be good stewards of what he has entrusted us with. So I really do think that understanding the family budget is important to living to the glory of God and really to raising your kids to understand finances so that as adults, they can stand on their own two feet. So I know the budget is kind of one of those really dry subjects. You're saying, how did you teach about budget? It's kind of boring, right? Well, we started when my kids, we started when we started homeschooling. My children were in middle school and I tried to find a way to make it kind of fun. So my task for them first was I said to them, why don't you write down everything that you think should be in a budget? All the things that you think parents pay for, let's say, on a monthly basis. So they generated that list first. It's always fun to see what your kids come up with. And then I said to them, I, I told them what all our real expenses were. I gave them the, the real budget, everything that we have to pay every month. And then I said to them, okay, I want you to guess now how much everything costs each month. And of course, with them being young, sometimes the, the guesses really varied. And I was able to dig up, um, when we did this assignment, I was able to find what one of my children's guesses were. And with permission, I will show you now. So on the top of the page here, we have all the items that they guessed were going to be in the budget. And you can see they hit quite a few. And then we had the guesses per month that they made. And then I went over with them what things actually cost. We discussed that. And then we started down a list. There are a lot of things that kids aren't really aware are expenditures in the home. Property tax, health insurance. I have a school loan repayment. Gas for the car. They didn't think about that. So there were a whole list of things that are on the bottom here that I had to add into the budget because they were not aware that these things might be in a budget. So that was eye-opening for them. So I am a big fan of telling your children also how much money comes into the household. Um, I also, I'll show them pay stubs. I'll show them how much is put aside immediately for taxes, all the, the money that they take out, how much we put uh, for medical, for example. I'm a big fan of letting them know that. So what is the reason for that? I think it's very important for young people to know that nothing is free, that mom and dad work hard for everything, and I think it helps enhance their level of respect for their parents. So we sit down, like I say, we know, we talk about how much money comes in, how much money is immediately taken out of paychecks that you don't even see, how much goes into retirement, for example, as well. And then with the rest of the money that comes into the household, we really look at the budget and I tell them how much money is going out. And we talk about it, you know, how do we keep expenses low? And there really is an emphasis that, you know, this is real, guys. This is serious. You know, how can we be the best stewards that we can be? How can we stretch this money? How can we be the best stewards that we can be of what God has entrusted us with? So I really see um, training your children with regard to the budget as necessary because we have been entrusted by God to raise our children, teach them, train them, bring them to adulthood, and then they kind of go back to him and they fulfill his will. They lead lives as adults and they are going to follow his will, his path for them. Um, to the glory of God. So they really do need the requisite skills in order to do that. And I think understanding finances is just one part of that. Now, I can tell you as my children have gotten older, this has really been interesting and rewarding to watch because I am seeing them. They're young adults now. And I can see them being cautious with 
purchases or even what we choose to buy and bring into our homes they are thinking about i can see them and they'll talk about you know actively thinking about they both want to marry and have children and they think about they're starting to think like adults how much do things cost how much money am i going to need to earn and bring into my home in order to do what mom and dad do they start thinking like adults when you treat them like adults how am i going to run a family someday. So critically important. And I'll tell you when my daughter almost always comes food shopping with me, she's almost like an accountability partner. Sometimes if I go to pick something up, she'll go, Ma, you know that that's cheaper in Aldi's. Come on, put that back. You know, we got to wait. We'll we'll go to Aldi's during the middle of the week. So it's really an amazing process to see evolve in your children, to see them grow and to see them mature and get ready for the adulthood that God has for them. Uh, We want to guard, and I've done a video about this before, we want to really guard against infantilizing our children. I do see parents that seem to like to do this fake kind of complaining, oh, my kid, they don't know the value of a buck, and, you know, that kid wastes money, it burns a hole in his pocket and everything. You know what? That, you know, train them, train them, train them to really understand this is serious. It's so important. Um, It's going to be a facet of their lives as they get older. And I I think most young people really will respond to it well, because if they see if they see you and they're they're happy being raised in your family, they know that they're going to want to be able to reproduce that for their family some someday. They're going to want to be able to bring that stability to their family someday. Okay, so that is my life skill for the day. I, I hope to bring you more in the future. I hope that this was helpful. To God be the glory. I will see you next time. Bye now.